all right so people have been asking me Sinos, how do i add the electric effect on my render and and text for my trons and i'm about to show you how so first things first you need a computer if you don't have a computer why you want this video click off second you need after effects you're gonna have to buy after effects after effects is not free if you want the latest version of after effects you're gonna have to go to the site and download it from there if you can't afford after effects well you have to go on youtube and look for a cracked version last but not least you're gonna need a saber effect plugin right here I'll leave the link in the description below, but you're going to want to go to this site right here, scroll down, and you're going to want to download the plugin. You know, choose whichever one you got. If you have a Mac or Windows computer, you know, choose whichever one you have. I have a Windows, so I already downloaded it. So yeah, once you once you install the plugin, you're going to want to go into After Effects, and basically the same process we did, you know, it's the same process for a Tron, but like, it's a little bit of a twist, you know? So like, now I'm going to have to import the render. You're going to want to import your render now. Right here. Let's resize it a bit. It's a little bit too big. Let's resize it a little bit. Yeah, that, looks, yeah, that looks good enough. Now we're going to want to import the text. You know, go to wherever you saved your text. For me, I saved it in my Bandicam file. Now we're going to want to resize the text. Boom, right here. Now to add the saber effect, you're going to have to, like, you know, trace it first. So you're going to want to click on layer. Click on auto trace and make sure your preset looks exactly like this. So pause the video and make sure your preset looks like this. All right, so now once you do that, click on OK and it will auto trace. Now to add the real Saber effect, you're going to want to click on effect. You're going to go to video copilot and click on Saber and boom. Now we're going to want to apply it, you know, to make sure that it's really on our render, not anything else. No. And now we're going to want to click on layer mask. Boom. Now it's going to apply the saber effect. Now to make it transparent, because now it's not transparent, but to make it transparent, you click on render settings right here where the arrow is right here. Click on render settings. Scroll down. You see where it shows composite settings. Make it transparent. Boom. Now it's transparent. Now we could choose whichever effect we want. There's energize. There's ghost to make it a little bit like, you know, foggy and stuff. Like, you know, there's fog. And there's electric right here, electric. And you could change the color too. You can make it green, pink, purple, red, any color you want. I want to, I want to match the trunk, so I'm gonna make it purple. And like you could like change up like you know the glow spread, you know, to make it like spread around the render. A little bias makes it a little bit glowy. Core size changes the amount of electricity that to use in the render. I don't want to use too much. I I usually keep it around here. And sometimes I just like play around with After Effects, you know, I'll probably put like hard light. I just put on, sometimes I go to, let's see, I click on mask core to like, yeah, to make it look decent. There you go. Look how decent that looks. And it's the same thing for the text as well. You know, click on the text, click on auto trace. It's the same thing for the text as well. Same thing, same process. Saber, since we already use the saber effect, it's right here, saber, on custom core text same thing same process not that difficult make it transparent but we're gonna use the same thing if you wanna if you can't find the color you know this is what you know to make it easier you go here let's see where do we have the saber effect oops it's right here there you go you're gonna wanna copy the color ID you know if you don't if you wanna like match the same color as the render and stuff you know to make it easier just press Control V and boom. See, yeah, yeah, this is way too much. Oh my days, yeah, that's way too much. Yeah, we want to dim it down a bit. Put a little mask core. Yeah, and then make it hard light. There you go. See? Now when we press the spacebar button, look how it plays out. Simple. Looks good, doesn't it? Yep, same thing. And now when we play it out, looks perfectly fine. So, if you want to render it now, see, look, look how it plays. Perfectly fine. If you want to render it, do the same thing. Click on export, add to render queue, click on render. And that's it. That's how you use the effect. And yeah, that's all.